Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Braxton. If you are new, I love to do grocery hauls. I've been doing day in the life videos lately and going to farm markets. So if that sounds good to you, please stick around, hit that red subscribe button and like this video if you like videos like this. Anyways, today I'm going to do a day in the life and just take you around with us. I'm going to go to a farm market and get some local honey and maybe some fruit. And then I'm going to make a blackberry pie today. But yeah, we're just going to chill out. So let's do this. excited to go yeah. to another farm market yes. we have been going to so many farm markets so we're gonna go to one of our favorites which is marker miller farm market and orchards here in virginia so if you are in the area definitely check it out it's so awesome but yeah we're gonna head there right now and i will show you everything we pick out there Guys, look at this beautiful country. Like, I'm in love with Virginia. It's just so pretty. I love all the farmlands. My daughters are up by this apple. This is the apple. This is the market, the farm market. If you haven't seen my last vlog, we came here another time too. We just really like it. It's so pretty. Look at this. Wait, watch out for tiny. called Shiro Plums. Okay, so here's some donut peaches. She said they're really good, like white peaches. <laughs> they're so cute. So we're gonna get some of those. Okay, this is this is the reason we are here for local honey. They have really good honey that's made on this farm. These dilly beans, my mother-in-law has told me they're so good. I've never tried one though, they sound good. Okay, we just got out of the farm market and now we're gonna go over and just kind of look at the orchard. Cause it's really pretty looking. Come on girls. 
Got a little gazebo. Okay, come on girls, let's go. Got the orchard, the playground over there. Love this tree. I love trees, so this is so my vibe. It's a cute little gazebo. Okay, let's look at this. Are these apples? Must be apple trees. They have peach trees here. Look at some bells. Mm, good. Yeah, look at that. So we should come here and pick apples soon. That'd be fun. So just like so many apple trees go on for so long. found a picnic table and we're just chilling at the picnic table for now really nice day out it's not too hot here so we are under this beautiful tree i just love this tree so much it looks so much fun to climb i used to love climbing trees as a kid so reminds me of that Okay, Javi, put your face up. Make a goofy face. <laughs> Javi, are you too tall? Are you too short? We're gonna go see how tall the girls are over here. They have a little height chart. Okay, go up to it all the way. Good job. Javi, go up to it and see how tall you are. Wow, you're growing up, girl. We're going to look at the beautiful orchard from over here. This is like such a pretty view. Look how pretty that is, guys. So gorgeous. It's beautiful country. I'm just in awe like every time I come out here. Girls, look at all those apple trees. Yeah, apples and peaches. I think those might be peaches. So we just got back from the farm market and this is my little haul. I just got a couple things. I really didn't need a lot. Um, I just went to the grocery store uh, like two days ago or yesterday. Anyways, I got some fun little finds. So we got some cookies and they're in here. We got caramel apple oatmeal and then a chocolate chip chunk from the bakery. So those looked really good. And then my daughters, they love to get the honey sticks. So I let them pick out one of those each. And my five-year-old daughter, she wanted a tomato. She just, for some reason, she really wanted a tomato. So she picked out a tomato and this can just ripen on the counter since it's kind of like on the yellow side. But I actually like to get them like that so that they're not overripe and then in a few days we can have that be nice and red. And then we got a zucchini just to have on hand. Um, I found my local honey. This is like my favorite honey I've found around here for the local kind. It just has like really rich flavor and it's raw honey so it's really good for you. And I really enjoy it. So that's my favorite one. And so I had to go get more of that because I had been out. I had got some at another farm market and it just wasn't as good. So I wanted to get more of that one. And then I got these donut peaches, which I've never heard of before. And I was so excited. They said that they're white peaches and they're really good. So I'm really looking forward to trying these out. Some of these look ripe and ready to go. Some of them have a couple days to ripen up, but they are just adorable. They're just little donut looking peaches, like they're called but they're so cute and I just had to get these and try them out. So anyways guys, that is my little farm market haul and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you find donut peaches or if you've heard of them, let me know down below. I just think that's so much fun. So yeah, that is what we found. Girls are eating their cookies. I should have got myself one. I don't know what I was thinking. Is it good, Jeff? Cherry got the caramel apple one. It's so good, I tasted mm -hmm. a bite 
really good. And I still got myself one. Hey Bear, what are you doing? You want a cookie too? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so my kids are just having hot dogs and peppers for lunch. And then we're gonna do some of those donut peaches. And then I'm gonna be doing a smoothie with green powder, some probiotics, some frozen fruit, and some oat milk. So that's what I'm gonna be having for lunch. I'm just not really hungry today. And I'm just gonna do a light lunch with that. donut peaches was ready so we're gonna try it out and see how it tastes. Javi what do you think? Mm. Yummy huh? Oh well, that's really good guys it just tastes like a white peach but it's so juicy and good. Yeah I highly recommend donut peaches if you can find them I've never seen of it or heard of it my, in my entire life so what did you think Chariot? Um, it's yummy. I was just about to make a blackberry pie and I go to look at my blackberries that I just got yesterday at the store. I just got them and they looked great yesterday. And I go to look at them to rinse them off. And guess what? So many of them are moldy. I don't know if it happened overnight, but it is so frustrating because I just got the blackberries and I was so excited. But anyways, that's why there's no blackberry pie in this video. And I was talking about it because I was so excited to make one, but now there's not gonna be a blackberry pie have to do it another time and make a video just for that. It is what it is, right? So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make a, a casserole called Easy Hamburger Casserole, which I've never had or tried before. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. It has potatoes, these are yellow potatoes, and then a can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm actually having the recipe that I'm going to put down below in my description box, so if you make it, just know that I halved it um, because I don't have two pounds of ground beef, so I'm just using one. And then salt and pepper to taste. I'm also gonna add in some onion powder just because I think that sounds good. Some sharp cheddar cheese, some milk, and a pound of ground beef. So I'm just gonna put in some oil in my pan and I'm gonna brown up my ground beef. So I'm just putting like a tablespoon or so of oil in there. I'm gonna brown up my ground beef and then it's frozen right now so I'm just gonna like kind of de-thaw it in the pan, you know what I mean, mom life. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper and a little bit of onion powder as well. So I got my potatoes, I did like four because one of these is like huge. And then I also greased my casserole dish so that that is ready to go. So I'm just gonna slice these up. I just do it by hand. So now I'm just gonna add the cream of mushroom soup and then the milk in here. Mix it up and it says to salt and pepper to taste. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't want it to be too salty. So since it has cream of mushroom in there, I'll taste it and then see where I'm at. Now I'm gonna put some cheese on top. I'm using cheddar for mine, but she was saying you can use like Colby Jack, the lady that did the recipe on Pinterest. 
Anyways, and then we're gonna cover this with foil and cook it for an hour at 350. And then you uncover it for 30 minutes to get the cheese all bubbly. So yeah, this looks really good and I'm really excited to try this out. Okay guys, I had to show you my dog. This is Bear, he's my little dog. He is almost 12 years old in November. He's looking pretty good, but he's like the cutest dog. He just looks like a puppy forever. He's like modeling, look at him. So cute. Hey Bear. Okay guys, so this is what my dinner looks like. It's not the best presentation. It's definitely not the prettiest dinner, <laughs> okay? So we'll see if it tastes good, if it's worth it. Um, but it was, yeah, it was super easy to make. I'm gonna taste it and I'll let you know after dinner how it was. But yeah, I just did a little salad on the side. And that is the hamburger casserole. It's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of like the hamburger helper that has potatoes and you add like ground beef too or like kind of a cross between that and scalloped potatoes, but it has like the beef instead. So it's a little bit like a combination of those two things. I would recommend it for sure for an easy dinner. And yeah, we give it a thumbs up. Now, after dinner time, we are going to do Easy Bake Oven. My daughter got this last year for her birthday. And um, we got a couple of these Easy Bake mixes they want to do the pizza one tonight. We have like a cake one too. I used to have an Easy Bake Oven when I was little, but it definitely didn't look like this. This is so futuristic looking. Look how like spaceshipy that looks. The one I had when I was little actually like looked like a little oven, um, but I think those got discontinued because they weren't safe or whatever. But um, it's so fun and nostalgic to do Easy Bake Oven with my daughters. Let me know down below if you did Easy Bake Oven as a kid and if you have seen this spaceship looking one. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're gonna do now and we're gonna make some Easy Bake Pizza. Okay, mix it really good. And then we're gonna do the dough. Hey girls, let me know how they are. Let me know your thoughts. Are right, easy baked pizzas good? Mm -hmm. Do they taste like real pizza? Mm, no. No. <laughs> well, we've come to a conclusion. Jav Javi gives the pizza two and a half stars out of 10. She said not so much. She doesn't like them too much. And then Chariot gave them 10 stars. So she likes them. Now I'm gonna try them. Let's see what I give it. My verdict is in. I would give it a three stars because it does taste like pizza somewhat, but it also has like a texture that's intense. Like it's like a soft doughy cheese, if that makes sense. So. I give the Easy Bake Pizzas a three star out of 10. Yep. So I'm gonna wrap up this day in the life. I am tired. <laughs> um, I am ready to chill out for the evening. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out more than you know. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe and become part of my YouTube family so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. And yeah, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.